Hi Virgo, here is your May guidance. You have the card of unity and celebrate differences. So the first feeling around you, I mean the card unity is quite a powerful card, quite a strong card. So this energy is probably going to be around you for quite a long time. Kind of represents sort of like feeling differently about yourself, feeling differently about your life. Maybe stepping into a, a new phase, maybe you've been feeling uncomfortable. Um, maybe you've been questioning sort of like what life's all about, what you're all about, who you are, where you're going. You know, it's, you know, you like to know how everything is. That's how you work. You're very practical minded in a sense. But when it comes to emotions, that's when kind of sort of like things can sort of like maybe your thoughts and feelings can get carried away, you know. But you have to learn to let them come and let them go and not attach to them. These cards also talk about you're in a different phase now. You're in a different phase, you know. You can't really change who you are, but you can be open up so you're not too rigid. The message for you is don't be too rigid. Don't try and force things. Don't try and control things. And I also get to lighten up a little bit, really, you know. But you're definitely in this kind of new phase. Now, every one of you, you know, will be very different. So maybe some of you are in a phase thinking about life, death, rebirth. Maybe some of you are thinking about wanting to branch out in your career, change your career. Maybe some of you are thinking that you, you, you want to uh, go self-employed, you want to do this, you want to do that. Maybe some of you want to move, you know. So each and every one of you is going to be kind of in a very kind of like different zone, different time in a way really you know but um it's deep though you know so it's deep it really is getting to the core of things so if you really crave something new and you can get out of the way of yourself this is a good time to move forward as well a sense of like what you're here to do what you're about what's working for you and what isn't it's going to be very strong around you and remember these feelings are there to really help you, not go against you, you know. Sometimes we just skim along the surface to get on with things and then sometimes the ice cracks and we fall under, you know. And that's when we kind of really get that chill and really see how things are. Now, whether you have been in that period or you're going into that period, it is a time of exploring where you are now, what you desire, you know, and there's... There's, there's magic in the card of unity and you have to also trust and flow, you know, as long as you're not doing anything that goes against the grain, that goes against what, you know, you know, sort of doing something that you ain't got much of an interest in. Celebrate differences also can say there could be some new people around you, a new way of looking at things, maybe a new doorway and be open to new faces and new experiences. You're definitely in a, a different phase now, actually, you know. Your kind of practical head is still there, but your heart is calling out, asking, what about me? What about me? Do I feel fulfilled? Do I fulfill, feel fulfilled? So this is the energy as you move forward with this card as well. You know, there is there is kind of, I want to say, bring a bit of magic in, bring bring a bit of kind of wonder and, and you know, and mindfulness. They give me the word mindfulness for you, Virgo. You need to learn mindfulness. You need to bring that in. And you need to also, they're saying, absorb some knowledge, right? So I'm not saying, you know, that you're not you're not doing that, but I want you to learn something new. Add something in to your life. Add something, you know, something you've always wanted to learn. It may not necessarily be like, I don't know, you want to learn how to bake cakes. You know, you might want to learn how to play hockey. I have no idea, you know, whatever play the piano, whatever it is, it's time to think about those things that you've always thought, you know, I've always wanted to learn that, I've always wanted to learn more knowledge with that as well. And because you've got the unicorn in that card, it's, it's a very highly spiritual time as well. So learn, not learn, understand what that word spiritual means to you and how it fits into your world. And is there a daily practice you need to bring in? You know, you can't just pray and ask for help when things are wrong. You know, do you do things on a daily on a daily um, 
on a daily basis. And the message for you as well, it's time to give back. It's time to give something back. It's time to, you know, see if someone needs some help. You know, again, you can't always just turn around when you need help. Do you need to, you know, that kind of giving and receiving energy. It's time to give something and, you know, and if you're someone that's always given something, then let people give to you as well. But there is going to be some big changes coming up around you. You are in a deeper phase as well. But these deeper phases are about kind of bringing you back to your authentic self and also taking you on a new pathway. That's why you've got the card to celebrate differences because at time it's like um, stepping into the land of colour and brightness as if like you're walking down a road and you know you're going to try this be open to that and you know and, and see the color come into your life that's that's the energy of celebrate differences as well not to say that some of you are like and not like bored or fed up with your life it's just there's so much more out there for you and there's more magic there's more mystery and it wants you to go on a little bit of a journey but I think this card's really resonating strongly for those of you that have been in a tricky situation or those of you where things have ended and things, you know, may not necessarily be making any sense at the moment. But they will do. They will do. You've got to really stand in your power and you have to let go of control, which is quite hard. You have to learn how to flow now. How to flow with the river, with the tide, with the current, you know, and just see where it takes you. I feel like it's important to just, just, just kind of like, don't keep looking back, you know, and, and just seeing where the universe wants to take you. Have an idea about, you know, like I say, it's a good time to learn something and do this and do that. But you definitely are going through a shedding time, a cleansing time, a clearing time as well. So one thing that's very strong around you is that you're about to see your world very differently. If it's not today, it may not be tomorrow, but there'll be a time when you look back and think, wow, how my life ha has changed, how I have changed. And my advice to you as well is to really work on your spiritual side, work on your truth, work on what you really, really, truly desire now.